What's up guys? Quick video for you today. I've got my laptop headed to the gas station. It is getting way too cold. We're running E85 and I'm actually not going to be driving the car at all this winter. Hopefully I have enough gas to make it to the station because uh, <laughs> it's been E for a couple days. I've been trying to get the tank as low as possible. I know why am I not driving a super in winter? Throw the best car for winter. RSs are so hard to find and people want a million dollars for them. I don't want this one to rust anymore. My daughter thinks this car is hilarious. So I just pulled my 91 map off. To flash it, you need to connect these two test port connectors. Turn your key on and hit the flash button right there. But I don't want this map back on because I already have this map. So let's go find the 91 map. one map I've got the key on I'm going to do a test right just to make sure this map's gonna work Test right was good, that's just to make sure it's gonna work and you're not gonna break your ECU. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually write this map on here so we can fill up with 91. Now while this is working, if you were to turn your key off, you would actually break your ECU and you wouldn't be able to drive anywhere. Okay, so successfully put a 91 octane interior on here, we can fill it up, and we can continue on. It saddens me to put this in there. See how it goes. Oops, I forgot to disconnect test mode connectors and my engine light's flashing at me. Turn it off. No big deal, all good. Curious about what I'm using for tuning. This is called ECU Flash. It's all free software. You use ECU Flash and ROM Raider to actually open source tune the stock ECU. Um, it's kind of a pain because every time you want to make adjustments, you have to connect those test mode connectors, um, change everything you need to change, flash it back on about your day so it takes a while versus like uh, on the fly tuning you know you can change your boost tables you can go down you can change your feeling at fueling as you're driving but with this open source you literally have to change everything in this table flash the car do a data log and then make sure what you did was correct so it's it's kind of time consuming uh, I wish there was better options for open source um, on the fly tuning because it would make my, my life easier and I feel more comfortable working with this tuning software but for now this works it's free the car ran great all year so I'm not too worried about it our air fuel ratios look pretty good obviously there's still a little bit of 85 in the tank I only put in about 10 gallons I don't want a full tank just because I'm gonna have to run it run it dry in the spring anyway so I'm gonna go drive it around, make sure everything's fine before I put it away. I'm not fully putting it away. I've got a bunch of stuff to do to it. Uh, the next video I'm actually gonna do is the interior. I bought OEM carpet, so the next time you see me, I'm gonna be putting carpet in the car and making it look pretty again. I really wanna put the interior back in, make it a full street car. I mean, my daughter's in the back right now. I wanna be able to use the car as a car. It's not a crazy race car build. I mean, I take it to the track all the time, but I wanted to get a new purpose car, have fun with it, take it out 
out to dinner, you know, I'll take it to work, do whatever with it. So, uh, I think I've got all the interior I need for the car now. We'll find out. That'll be the next thing I do. I'm going to do a video on how much does a full interior weigh and, you know, is it worth it to strip your full interior if you're trying to be full race car, going to the drag strip, you know, trying to get that extra tenth. So, that'll be the next video you see. Hopefully, all my stuff comes in and uh, works out. But, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.